With clear skies and time to make up, Marco Martin has been this morning's hard charger, bringing back a large overnight deficit to be within seven seconds of the leader, Regan Ross, who gave him a little bit of help. Yeah, he had a spin and lost a bit of time, so um, which was kind of good to see because we lost a bit of time yesterday with different uh, issues, uh, so now we got a uh, little bit uh, closer again. So let's see, now. two long stages to go, it will be quite tough, I think. Whilst losing time on special stage 8 with the spin issue, Ross was also back on the spanners to help his crew with some repairs during service. Uh, just a wee bit of a uh, gearbox change in the minimal amount of time, but um, yeah, just lost fourth gear uh, in the Waipori stage. So we're just uh, a bit of panic stations, so quite a good gearbox to change, but um, you need a few people to help you sort of thing, but yeah, we seem to be all over it now. Derek Ayson lost his podium position after he clipped a corner and broke a ball joint. He will, however, remain in the rally. That's it, we're out. Why? Oh, this first stage we're having a bit of a push and just clipped the inside of the corner. It hadn't even noted it as don't cut, but it was just a clay bank that just grabbed the wheel and sort of tore it around, so broke a, um, a bottom um, steering arm. And so that now moves the chasing RX-7s of Marcus Van Klink and John Silcock into third and fourth respectively. Yet for Van Klink it was nearly all over, but a hastily replaced clutch cylinder has seen him stay on track for a podium finish. We're there if they drop off the road basically, but they've got a few issues with this clutch, so uh, we'll push it out of control now and hope we you know, get there on time. You know that the classic is big when veteran driver Shane Merland has a number nine on the door, rather than a lower number he might normally expect. Yeah, well, you know, I'm getting older too, so I think they're taking a bit of pity on me now. I mean, last time we were here, we had a big write off and uh, completely destroyed the car, and that was our first time on notes. So. So you can imagine this time around, I'm a little bit dubious on what, what I'm hearing and, and, uh, and uh, my, my career hasn't been on notes, so it's all, all unfamiliar. Special Stage 11 is the longest of the rally and it was here that Ross surrendered his lead to Martin after more mechanical woes. This time it was a clutch master cylinder. This stage was also the undoing of Marcus Van Klink, who went off the road after the first 600 metres, gifting third place to John Silcock. Now there are only three stages remaining for the event, 53 kilometres of gravel, to see if Regan Ross can somehow claw his way back or if Marco Martin can make it two in a row.